Image formation by a convex lens. Ray diagrams. Rays considered while constructing ray diagrams. Ray diagrams are usually used to show the formation of images by lenses. While constructing ray diagrams, generally two of the rays shown here are considered. A ray of light passing through the optical center of the lens travels straight without suffering any deviation. An incident ray parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the focus. An incident ray passing through the focus of a lens emerges parallel to the principal axis after refraction. To construct a ray diagram, we need at least two rays whose paths after refraction from the lens are known. The image is formed at the point where these refracted rays meet. These rays are chosen according to our convenience. Any of the two rays shown here can be considered to obtain the image. Mouse over on the buttons for the ray diagrams and click on the buttons to view the animated ray diagrams for different positions of the object. Formation of an image by a convex lens let us now see how an image is formed by a convex lens for various positions of the object. Formation of image by a convex lens when the object is placed between F and O. Choose the rays by clicking on the links provided. A ray of light parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the focus F dash. A ray of light passing through the optical center of the lens travels straight without suffering any deviation. These refracted rays appear to meet only when extended backwards. Thus, when an object is placed between F and O of a convex lens, a virtual, erect and magnified image is formed behind the object. Formation of image when the object is placed at C. Choose the rays by clicking on the links provided. A ray of light parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the focus F dash. A ray of light passing through the optical center of the lens travels straight without suffering any deviation. An incident ray passing through the focus of a lens emerges parallel to the principal axis after refraction. These refracted rays meet at C dash. Thus, when an object is placed at C of a convex lens, a real inverted image of the same size is formed at C dash on the other side of the lens. Formation of image when the object is placed between F and C. Choose the rays by clicking on the links provided. A 
a ray of light parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the focus F dash. A ray of light passing through the optical center of the lens travels straight without suffering any deviation. An incident ray passing through the focus of a lens emerges parallel to the principal axis after refraction. These refracted rays intersect each other at a point beyond C dash. Thus, when an object is placed between F and C of a convex lens, a real inverted and magnified image is formed beyond C dash on the other side of the lens. Formation of image when the object is placed at F. Choose the rays by clicking on the links provided. A ray of light parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the focus F dash. A ray of light passing through the optical center of the lens travels straight without suffering any deviation. These two refracted rays are parallel to each other and these parallel rays will meet only at infinity. Thus, when an object is placed at the focus F of a convex lens, a real inverted and magnified image is formed at infinity. Formation of an image when the object is placed beyond C. Choose the rays by clicking on the links provided. A ray of light parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the focus F dash. A ray of light passing through the optical center of the lens travels straight without suffering any deviation. An incident ray passing through the focus of a lens emerges parallel to the principal axis after refraction. These refracted rays meet at a point between F dash and C dash. Thus, when an object is placed beyond C of a convex lens, a real, inverted and diminished image is formed between F dash and C dash on the other side of the lens. Formation of image when the object is at infinity. The rays of light coming from an object at infinity are always parallel to each other. Case 1. When the parallel rays of light coming from the object at infinity are incident obliquely on the lens. An incident ray passing through the focus of a lens emerges parallel to the principal axis after refraction. A ray of light passing through the optical center of the lens travels straight without suffering any deviation. These refracted rays meet at F dash. 
does when an object is placed at infinity, a real, inverted and highly diminished image is formed at f dash. Case 2. When the rays of light coming from the object are parallel to the principal axis. Rays of light parallel to the principal axis after refraction converge at the focus of the lens. Thus, when an object is placed at infinity, a real, inverted and highly diminished image is formed at f dash.